First clothing haul in my new house. Yes, the time has come. <gasps> anyway, let's get to the clothing haul. White Fox Boutique, perfect timing, the perfect way to start a new era in this house of clothing hauls. I forgot to mention this at the start of the video, so I'm spoiling an outfit that you're not meant to see yet, but White Fox Boutique have a 30% off end of financial year sale going on at the moment using the code on your screen and all the dates for that will be in the description box. Once that sale ends, it will revert to 15% off if you use the same code. So get in quick, stuff will sell out quickly, I'm sure it generally does. So if you like anything you're about to see, get shopping. Corny. Okay, bye. Okay, some of you may remember my, my hunt for jeans that are just flattering on my height, my body type, that kind of thing. I tried on some low rise jeans, high rise jeans, Straight leg jeans, wide leg jeans, the general consensus was that low to mid rise is more flattering for my shape because I am shorter and have a shorter torso and that wide leg jeans are too much for me because they just look too frumpy on my frame, I'm not really tall enough, it just doesn't seem to work. These are my belly buttons here, I'm not going to, these are a mid rise I'd say. These are a size small, I believe they're meant to be a little bit more spacious because of the style. I think they're meant to be more of like an oversized, spacious, baggy fit. I actually like that here is wider than the bottom of the jeans because when I walk, it kind of balances out. And I think this, this rise is good too. If they were like that, that would be probably too high-waisted and it cuts off my middle section. But because they are meant to be worn lower on the hip, you can still see where my, where my um, waist curves in but it's not so low rise that my stomach feels exposed because I don't feel confident wearing pants that are really low, low waisted because they're just, it's too, I'm too, I feel too vulnerable, okay? This is a really comfy denim. I don't think it has stretch, but it's not thick and dense. It feels light, it's, oh, I love the color. I love that you've got a bit of like the bleaching kind of acid wash thing on the bum. It just kind of, it gives dimension to the jeans and especially here. Some of the jeans I tried on didn't have that and they look too, yeah, like one dimensional. It doesn't, it doesn't, like having this bit here highlights the inner portion of the leg and kind of like sculpts the outside. And they're a perfect length for me as well. These are a win. I'm super excited about these. These are the pair that I've been looking for. This is the top. It is a crew neck tee that ends about here. So again, really nice length. Um, if you're of similar height to me or if, even if you're taller and you prefer like a shoulder fit. Uh, love it. I just, I saw this and I'm a sucker. I love, I went through a phase where I was like, God, I feel like the phase was like two days ago, but I went through a phase, probably still going through a phase. I'm probably just in, in an ever evolving variation of different phases, but of like neutrals and creams. And I've kind of realized that the colors that flatter me most are bright colors like blues and greens and navies and any, and pinks and reds and things like that, especially because I don't have a fake tan at the moment. Whenever I wear neutrals, they kind of dull me a little bit and I look a little bit dead. They just don't really do me any favors, but having these pops of color just brings life back to my skin and makes me feel a little bit more comfortable not wearing a fake tan because I'm trying to kind of not be so reliant on fake tan to feel good. <laughs> so this is just such a cute outfit to start with. Really beautiful, like jersey, stretchy cotton fabric. Love the crew neck, love the font. You know what's really cute? Every now and then when I'm out and about, like even in my little like rural town, I'll see girls wearing hoodies that have white fox on the back. And I don't know what it is. It isn't like I'm like a part of the brand or anything, but it kind of makes me feel warm and fuzzy. I'm like, hey, you know the deal about white fox sweatpants and, and, and trackies and hoodies. Like you will not find a more comfortable pair. That's why I'm always wearing them. Barbie dreams. Am I right? I am right. I don't think I've worn a strapless dress for a very long time. <laughs> very long time. This dress though is so cute. It's double lined, so the layer underneath is actually attached to the layer on top, which is wonderful. It means that it's much easier to put on, to keep it all together. You're not gonna get weird bunching or anything like that. So cute, jeez. It's got this detailing here which runs down the the dress. It's just really comfy. I was thinking when I pull this out, I'm like, oh, I'm probably gonna need shapewear because it looks very figure hugging, but I don't have any that are 
strapless so I thought let's just give it a try and it actually is completely fine without it because it has that double layer and because of the way it kind of gathers and bunches considering I've got like a lot for it to hold up it's doing a really good job it's got elastic up the top there's a zip down the side with a clasp here that holds it together which is always important that's how it looks when I'm not when the fabric at the bottom is loose it's a great length it finishes just above my just above the floor basically I feel like it being strapless is really I don't know it just suits the dress perfectly I can't even imagine with straps I mean it would still look cute obviously but yeah it's just nice so I thought something different especially when I've got like my hair waved it kind of gives me that free space to just do whatever I want make the hair the feature there had to had to so these are like really comfy soft it's actually more like loungewear than I thought they would be pants that have this V line which is really flattering yeah, I think this would look better with a skirt uh, and maybe something with a straight hem like that hem waist waist I don't know what that's called I'm gonna just straighten that out so you can get an idea I mean it still looks good it just depends on what kind of thing you're going for oh stunning so comfy I just can't get it's not even doing it justice the camera is not even doing it justice. It's that's a bit better. It needs to be like out of focus in order for you to see how beautiful it is. It's obviously just like a million little rhinestones, a little diamante things over a mesh fabric that's really stretchy. And then you've got feather cuffs. It's a win-win all around. And for someone like me who's not very confident, it's not not I'm not confident. I mean, it probably is part of confidence, but just not comfortable showing a lot of skin. This, like I would, if I was a, if I was a festival girl, if I was a concert girl, or if I was a girl that left the house even, <laughs> I do leave the house, but I'm not my 18 year old clubbing self that I used to be. If I was, I would feel comfortable wearing something like this because it does enough of, it, it, it kind of, I feel like I'm covered enough and all the little diamante things are kind of, it reflects the light, it keeps the attention off the things I don't want <laughs> the attention on. Um, and it's just comfortable and it's just so pretty. I mean, like imagine the photos in this, you use like flash photography. Oh, imagine the pics, <laughs> imagine the pics. So this is how it looks close up. I'm really just angry. Oh, there we go. That you can't see <laughs> the sparkles as well. But when I turn, that's when you can get an idea. Oh my God, so pretty. I'm really surprised how comfortable it is. I don't know what I, was, what I was expecting, but this has got like major stretch, although I'm not gonna push it to the limits because I want to keep this in tip top condition. These are the pants, a little bit longer for me, which is good if you are shorter. No, it's good if you are taller than me. I'm 164 centimeters. And yeah, I just, I think this is the most underrated cut on bottoms. Um, I was looking at activewear the other day and they had this this cut as well and all of the comments were like oh my god it's so flattering I feel so good it makes me feel so nice it is quite a gentle flare it's not gonna be like super wide leg just really comfortable I will likely wear these around the house I mean you could wear them out if you wanted to obviously but just because I don't really have anywhere to go and I just like wearing comfy pants imagine when I was 18 get ready with me videos wearing this oh my god look at memes while I'm filming Oh my god, she's laying on one of my old white fox jumpers that I changed out of in order to change into the new, the new stuff. Look at her. God, she's precious. Ooh, this reminds me, which I'm guessing is perhaps the purpose. Those silvery jackets where if you take a photo of them with flash, they go all like bright and neon. That's what this bit here reminds me of. Love also that the side of the dress is dark, so it kind of creates this really nice silhouette and really like shapes your body really silky beautiful fabric too like just want to keep doing this on it because it's just so comfy and great length all of these dresses have been a really good length uh adjustable straps which is nice i honestly thought i was gonna need to wear shapewear for these so it's i feel like it's better not to wear shapewear because it gives you a better idea of how the clothes are going to look if you don't want to wear shapewear because not everyone does it is uncomfortable and a nuisance um, so look, at least you know how it looks without it, but yes, yeah, stunning. Okay. I did order the jumper. However, I'm assuming they were out of stock and they sent the matching oversized tee. So I'm going to just tuck this in. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. This is what I was saying about like blues and bright blues and stuff. Oh, so nice. I don't know a skin tone that this color doesn't look good on, especially, oh, I need to tuck that in. Especially with those pink, the pink detailing. Oh, and it's that like, that puffy sticker kind of feeling. <laughs> the White Fox uh, like fabrics for these sweats are that really thick, fluffy stuff. These feel like that, so do not fear. Oh, I just love the graphics. It's just so good. They honestly, I know I rave about them all the time, especially with the sweatpants, but unless you try them, it's impossible to understand. And that's why whenever I'm online or I'm like I'm doing on my stories or anything, nine times out of ten, I'm wearing a white fat white fox tracksuit. So stunning dress. Beautiful fit. It's got a split down the bottom, which makes it a lot easier to walk. Adjustable straps, which is always appreciated. I don't often really wear patterns because I just love solid colours, but this is really beautiful. The red, the black. Also, I appreciate the length. It is the perfect length for me, especially because I don't wear heels and it's already the right length without any heels. Same fabric, same cut, basically the exact same dress as the last one, except we've got a beautiful fabric. Oh my god, this fabric is just so comfortable. It really just smooths over the skin so nicely too. Need I say more? Need I say more? The colour. Love this green shade. It's the colour of our bed sheets right now. The pink. Love pink. The combination. Perfect. The font. The writing. It's on the bottom as well. Just the fluffy, delicious fabric. It's like being wrapped in a marshmallow, like a soft marshmallowy cloud. That is the, the fabric that I am talking about. Okay, I'm not really doing either of these items justice. So please look at them separately, not together, because it's not the right combination. I don't like that I'm pairing two whites together because they're both different tones um, and the different styles and everything. So just pretend like they look perfect together. These are some like linen pants that are just really comfortable. They have an elastic waistband, really good length. Um, you will have to be careful with the underwear you wear underneath them because with all of this like linen fabric, it, it isn't fully opaque. So just be be mindful of that. It usually looks good with like a bikini top or a crop top or something that you don't have to tuck in underneath it. Because if I tuck this in, you can see where the 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 top is. But other than that, super comfy really beachy. You really just can't go wrong with this kind of pant. I have so many different pairs of these because I always wear them because they're just so comfortable. And this is the the top. So this is a, a crew neck, you know, my favorite. Um, it's always got a bit of a, it's a bit of a bluer, bluer white. So be mindful of that as you can see from, you know, the comparison, but really comfy, nice thick neckline. Great length. I don't know what size I got. I'll have to, I'll leave all the sizes in the description box regardless. Again, really stretchy, stretchy fabric, nice arm length. So yes, while this outfit does not look good together, each piece shines in its own unique way. So, okay, I'll bring it down first. That's, yeah, this is, they're big. That's, as I said, the point. But I have a hood, look at this chunky text. A literal puffy sticker heaven. What a successful haul. That concludes today's video. Don't forget you can use the code on your screen to get 30% off. 30% off the White Fox Boutique sale. Once the sale ends, I'll have again the de details about the length of the sale in the description. Once that ends, that code will revert to 15% off. So get in quick. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first clothing haul in the new house. The setup will be constantly evolving and changing. This is just the best setup that I have for right now. We're still in the process of like figuring out where uh, where things go and wh where I want to do stuff and all that kind of thing. But it's just so nice to be here and to feel like it's actually my space. And of course, thank you to White Fox for blessing this house with its first ever clothing haul. Mwah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.